Court Documents, Part 2. Roll it. Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksum. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for future content. Well, part two is now here. So a few hours ago, I did release the first part of the court case and the filings of Vic against Funimation and Jamie. So we're going to start over now. We're going to start again. So we've already had the Funimation uh, part of the tweets where when you're know, Evan and we wanted to give you an update on the Vic situation. We got all that. So we're going to start on number 31 now. Later that day, Monica declared that Vic is the legal definition of harassment. And we got her tweet. And just so we're clear, he's the legal definition of harassment. Harassment is governed by state laws, but is generally defined as a course of conduct, which annoys, threatens, intimidates, alarms, or puts a person in fear of their safety. So from there as well, we go on to the next uh, part of it. Over the next week or so, Ronald tweeted evidence. He has been fired. There was an investigation. These actions have corroborated to testimonies. February 13th. Their decision was on things that happened to Funimation employees. But then we've also known that supposedly in the investigation, because it's actually in here at the very beginning, it was against fans which won on, on a Funimation grounds or Sony event or nothing. February 18th. And let's see who walks away a registered sex offender. On February 19th, 2019, Monica tweeted a lengthy post in which she accused Vic of sexual harassment, kissing her without her consent, and treating other similarities, sorry, other simile, at conventions. She claimed to have spoken with investigators to corroborate the testimony of others telling stories similar to hers and spoke of Fenimation's investigations. She closed by referring to Vic as a predator, as they all have been, which that, that word now is just... It's just been thrown around by him. So we got... The investigations were incredibly thorough. Each person was interviewed, the evidence weighed, and a decision made. Each company had to look out for the safety of their employees. In this instance, these companies felt they made the best decision to protect their employees and contract workers. Also, these companies aren't obligated to share any information with you. Many of the women who've come forward have chosen to remain anonymous, especially after seeing the way that I've been attacked. Please respect their privacy. Well, it's really funny because obviously they keep going on about all these stories and the investigation, but we actually know what the investigation is now. The three courses of one is the jelly bean, two is a consensual kiss with a co-worker that was Vic's friend, and the third one was Vic supposedly acting creepy towards underage girls at a convention. So with that there, with all those stories going forward and Monica spinning Matt, we can see that it's completely different and everything she is saying is completely wrong. And obviously when you have uh, Mr. Ron Toy as well going in with it, saying, well, this happened and that happened, it's like, well, okay, if that did happen, mate, then it happened. It's, this is what it is. We've been seen now, we've been told this is what's happened. I mean, this is really, really funny, and obviously, you know, Ronald has continued carpet-bombing Vic on Twitter, accusing him of assaulting Monica, of cheating on his fiance, assaulting ladies, and robbing fans, and assaulting way more people than Monica, and of forcing himself upon people in a sexual manner without consent, and that resulted in assault. In fact, Ronald, a Funimation agent or employee, has tweeted more than 80 times that Vic sexually assaulted or assaulted Monica, more than 10 times that Vic sexually assaulted or assaulted three of his very close friends. More than 10 times that, Vic has been accused of hundreds and possibly thousands of assaults, and at least 17 times that Vic is a predator. So we got them there, which is all the... Uh, which is obviously... Is all these supposed allegations against Vic and these are the facts of what's been happening. But later on in this uh, in this file and everything else and in the court uh, documents is something that I absolutely love. 
I used to work for a social media company and basically, obviously, nearly every single company has this rule. And this is about the liability part. So what you have, this is basically how it's worded in nearly every contract I've ever seen for social media companies and so forth. So what is? The preceding paragraphs are incorporated by reference. At all times relevant, Jamie, Monica or Ronald was Funimation's employee and acting in the course and scope of her or his employment in the conduct alleged above or alternatively, Jamie, Monica or Ronald was Funimation's agent with actual or apparent authority to act on behalf of Funimation in the conduct alleged above or Funimation ratified her or his actions alleged above. Accordingly, Funimation is liable for the conduct of Jamie, Monica or Ronald alleged above. So what this is, basically anything that, you know, I think this is why that woman got rid of Funimation staff writer out of her actual bio. Because she's like, oh no, uh, all thoughts are my own. It doesn't matter. If people know which company you work for, you can get done for gross misconduct. You can. And you know, the company can get rid of you because you're representing that company, so to speak. And then obviously if anything comes of it, that company can, you know, well, literally could be taken to court by people. Because obviously, with Funimation, say Monica, well, they have. They've, um, all the stuff they said about Vic, Vic is taking Funimation to court because of this as well. Anything that these people say on Twitter, because people know they work for Funimation, it's almost like Funimation are condoning what they're doing. That's what I absolutely love. And obviously now with this, it just goes to show that, well, they haven't got any pull or any, they haven't got any wire or rope to reel their people in. They just keep going on and on. Look, the majority of those facts are Ron. You know? Ron's done this. Ron's done that. Ron tweeted this. Ron tweeted that. And I just think it is absolutely brilliant. This document that TB has put together to go against them all. Uh, Say so the rest of the uh, document is mostly requests for production to Fenimation. Jamie, Monica, Ronald. You got a few things. They got uh, a couple of wherefore premises considered plaintiff praise that the defendants be cited to appear and answer hearing and that on final hearing he have judgment against the defendants of our actual consequential and punitive damages according to the claims pled above and in amounts to be determined on final hearing. So what could happen there is they could literally, well we've seen that he's suing them or he's taking them to court for compensation over a million dollars. That is, like I you said before, that is literally a chunk of change, which is absolutely brilliant. And I hope he gets it, because what these people have done, they have literally gone out of their way to get rid of him. And when you look at the case and everything they've said, and basically when Sony Funimation did an investigation, which, you know, they claim was private, but then all of a sudden... You got Monica, you got all these people, Ron, going online and saying an investigation was done. This has been done, blah, blah, blah. They're saying, oh, I can't say not, but I, I know 100% what's happened. I know this, I know that. And with that, again, if they wanted to be funny, Sony could take Ron to court because he's the one who's blabbed about it and, you know, it could cost Sony millions. That's what I would do, to be honest with you. I would be like, right, okay, here we go. You said this, you said that. We're going to get rid of you because it's putting us in a bad light. And obviously at the moment, all these companies, you know, Sony, Warner Brothers, all these big uh, companies that do all, say the anime, the movies, a lot of them are in trouble at the moment. Higher ups, a lot of people are stepping down and so forth because of shady dealings, sexual assault and, well... <laughs> A few other unsavory uh, questions have been gone through them. But, you know, the rest, you know, it, it does say about, it does go for single people as well. So there's one for Monica, Jamie, and uh, there's one for Ron. I'm not going to post them, though. But I just think it's absolutely brilliant that it has gone there. So, and obviously they want everything now. And uh, we saw the uh, the photo as well the other day. That Nick put out there of all the tweets that Ron has sent laid across the table. That filled the table. 
So that's over, what what was that, over uh, 400 tweets, I believe. Which is just incredible when you think of how many tweets this guy has actually sent over the course of the time period from when it all started to now. He literally must have just been on Twitter non-stop. It's, doesn't he have a job? <laughs> you know, it's, he says you know, he's, he's got a job and all this, but we've just found out in this court uh, papers that he works for Fenimation as an agent or an employee. So it'll be interesting when that comes out to see where he actually works for them. It wouldn't surprise me if he's work in the business side of it. You know, like, okay, right, how can we make this? Where can we get money from or whatever? And I just think this is absolutely fan dabby dozy and I'm happy it's finally going. But this is it now, so hopefully we'll get a few more things. Uh, I will have another video coming out later on today so regarding uh, Jamie Marshy and a conversation she's had with someone. And hopefully we can get some more juicy tidbits over the next couple of days. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates. And I'll see all you lovely people soon.